very important for us to grow our relationship with God. I will follow me, Lord. I will find shelter in the eye of the storm. We shouldn't only strive to be led to holiness on Saturday or Sunday, but throughout no matter what storm clouds of stress, no matter what storm clouds of pain, of sickness, we grow our faith because when we grow our faith, it increases our conviction. It helps. I'm reminded that it's covered with His grace. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Through the word. With the word. With the word. In the word. In the word. In the word. Of God. Be encouraged in the word, with the word, and through the word of God. Oh, be encouraged, be encouraged, be encouraged, be encouraged. I will bless the Lord, all oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his whole name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. There's another song that declares that I command my body, I command my eyes, my ears, my hands, my feet to bless the Lord, and all my organs I declare to bless the Lord. Of course, I would have told you guys last week that we are in the season of youths encouraging you, and today, of course, will be no different. The youths will be encouraging you, so be blessed, everyone, and ensure and remember to pray and to give God praise. Good afternoon everyone. For today's word, I just feel encouraged to remind us to allow God to lead us, to lead out in our lives. His will alone must be done in our lives. As we go to work or school, we must allow God's will to be done. We must allow God to lead us. And the friends and company that we keep, in the conversations that we have, how we dress, how we act, our acts of kindness and compassion towards others. God must be led and His will must be done. We shouldn't only strive to be led to holiness on Saturday or Sunday, but throughout the week. That's something that is really important. We must allow God and His Spirit to lead out every day in our lives. Daily, we must read, read and walk with Him. We must always go forth in prayer and thanksgiving, just after the devotion in the morning, to allow His will to be done and allow Him to lead out in our lives. So as I just sing this song very common, I hope that the words resonate in our hearts. It's hard to take the first step when you don't know the way. Each turn is so uncertain. I learned to walk by faith. But you gave me a promise that you would never leave. You lead and guide me. Lord, I do Lord, I will follow. Lead me, Lord, I will go. You have called me. I Oh, 
and I will answer him, Lord, I will go. I just feel him press to whisper a word of prayer for all those who are watching. Just us bow our heads as we pray. Kind and compassionate, Heavenly Father, as you come before you now, we just want to acknowledge your greatness. We want to acknowledge your goodness, dear Father God. Even though we are not deserving of your love and of your grace, you extend it towards us, dear. Just ask you, Lord, please move everything that's unlike you, unlike all of us who are watching and taking part, even now. Have your way in our lives, dear Father God. Help that daily we'll renew our walk with you. Daily we'll come to you for strength. We'll be renewed. We'll find love and joy and peace and comfort in you. And as we go through each day, your will will be done in our lives and that you will lead us. You will live out your life within us, Jesus, you are King of Kings. Help us to be examples in our families and our friends wherever we go. Help that daily, dear Father God, we will grow in you and that our lives will be a led example of you. That souls will be born for your kingdom, dear Father God. We are living in the last days. Help us to realize that your time is at hand. Your coming is at the door, Father God. And now especially it's time for us to walk with you and grow in you. Help us, dear Father God, to not have a rest day or a night until we completely surrender ourselves before you. Continue to be with us and strengthen us and lead us in your way, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Like a ship sailing out on a trip so rough and long, so far from shore, so far from home. I set out in search of a reason to go on and there i found it in the eye of the storm no matter what storm clouds may rock the shape of mine the light of my savior will lead me safely through the night and though my ship may be rocky and my sails may be torn i shall rest in the eye of the storm when the wind and water rages and the billows begin to roll the blessed rock of ages speaks peace to my soul he holds me in his arms so safe and so warm and i find shelter in the eye of the storm no matter what storm clouds may rock the shape of mine the light of my savior will lead me safely through the night though my shape may be rocking and my sails may be torn i shall rest in the eye of the storm no matter what storm clouds may rock 
the shape of mine the light of my savior will lead me safely through the night and though my ship may be rocky and my sails may be torn i shall rest you shall rest we all shall rest we all shall rest in the eye of the storm so no matter what storm clouds may rock the shape of mine the light of my savior will lead me safely through the night though my ship may be rocking and my sails may be torn i shall rest in the eye of the storm no matter what storm clouds of stress no matter what storm clouds of pain of sickness may rock my ship may rock your ship thus rest in the eye of the storm god bless you my encouragement to you today is to develop a relationship with god and try to grow in the spirit, grow your faith in God. Because as Christians, sometimes we might take it for granted. Doing the rituals, going through the notions, you know, you're going to church. You do your little devotions in the morning. Um, you do a quick prayer before you go to your bed. And, you know, you're following the, the, the rules and you think that, yes, I am a Christian and I'm doing the right thing. But it is very important for us to grow our relationship with God because God has made himself available and accessible to us so that we can speak to him, we can communicate with him, and we can grow our faith. Because when we grow our faith, it increases our conviction. It helps us in times of trials and tribulation to stay strong. Doing just the under-surface things as a Christian is not gonna help you when tribulation comes when the real trying times come it's going to take something deep it's going to take something strong it's going to take a conviction which goes further than just going through the notions and so i'm here to encourage you believers and children of god to take advantage of that access we have to god pray read the word of god Talk to God about the things that you are going through on a daily basis. Sometimes we take it for granted that if I am not okay, I'm not going to pray. But that is the time when we need to pray. When things are not okay. When we are going through a difficult time or a difficult season. That is the time we need to pray. Father, I am broken. I am tired. I am hurt. God, I am angry. God, I am I am struggling with unforgiveness with this person. I feel like I really hate this person for what they did to me. I know that this feeling is not right. Please help me to get past this. You know, even in our times of difficulty, sometimes we think, okay, I'm going to run until I feel better. But sometimes in our process of running from God, we get ourselves in deeper into trouble. We get ourselves into some challenges and some messes where if we had gone to God, in the midst of that pain and sorrow and hurt, then he would have, he would have encouraged us. He would have, he would have rescued us. He would have delivered us. But no, we run and think, oh, I'm too angry to pray. I am too sad to pray. I am too broken to pray. But he says he wants a broken and a contrite heart and he will not despise So go to God in your times of difficulties because that is what is going to increase your relationship with God. Go to God in your times of trial. Talk to him. Pray to him. Ask him to help you through it. And when he does, he will get the glory. That will give you another testimony to say, this is what God has done for me.
even in your times of challenges i am here to tell you talk to god he's not surprised he's not gonna come to you and say really is that what you did no he's not going to say that because he knows that you would have done it anyways he knows the capacity that you're at and he's here willing to help you step by step to grow Sometimes in our times of challenges, we turn to all kind of different things. We turn to social media. We watch, just watch videos. We watch Netflix. We just watch things and we try to, you know, abandon, numb the pain that we're going through. But we should go through it. Jesus, when he was on the cross, he experienced everything. He experienced the pain. And so we have to go through it. We have to go through the pain. We have to go through our own suffering. But let us go through it with God. When Jesus was scared and, you know, it was near the time of his crucifixion, he went in the garden of Gethsemane. He didn't run and drink some alcohol and drink some wine and try to numb or disregard what he's feeling. He went to God with it. He said, God, if it is possible, let this cup pass. And so I'm here to tell somebody, when you're going through your time of difficulty and your time of pain and your time of sorrow, cry to the Lord. Cry to the Lord. You go down with sorrow, but you rise up with hope. You rise up with an inspiration. Sometimes he gives you a scripture. Sometimes he gives you a song. So I'm here to tell somebody that even through challenging times, still hold on to the hem of his garment because that is enough. That is enough. Still hold on to his hem of his garment. Because these are the things that grow your anointing. Grow your conviction. Help to increase your faith. So when you talk about God, you don't sound like you're reading a story. You don't sound like you're reciting something that you heard somebody say. You speak with authority. With confidence. With conviction. Because you know that God was there for you. You know what you have been through. So I'm here to encourage somebody in the Lord. Stay with God. Hold on to him. Stay close to him. A songwriter says, I will cherish the old rugged cross and exchange it one day for a crown.